Hey, what's up guys? My name is Larry Thomas. On this particular channel, we'll be talking about videography and photography. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so at this time, you guys. If you can give this video a thumbs up, I would truly appreciate it, you guys. All right, on today's video, we will talk about life attack, man. What happened uh, last year? What happened last year? You know, the pandemic and everything hit, man. So let's talk about it. All right, so last year in June, man, um, um, I had my first surgery. I've been dealing with heroics for a long time, so I had my first um, surgery. Uh, it wasn't my first surgery, but it was the first the surgery that really started everything. Uh, but yeah, I had uh, the bandage house when they go in and put a rubber band on your hemorrhoids. I had that first in, in June. So uh, after that, you know, I did it didn't work. Like the, the bandages uh, fell off. So uh, I had to really get somebody else to do another doctor. So what happened is uh, the, the second surgery, the doctor went in and um. It, the, the hemorrhoids were too enlarged to put rubber bands on them, so that's why he said the rubber bands um, fell off. So he didn't. Um, so what he had to do is the hemorrhoids, and he had to cut me. And that's when all the pain started, you guys. That's when my life like took a man. It's like I, whew, it just, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't work. I was getting depressed. I uh, couldn't do anything with my wife or anything like that, man. And that has been happening all, for right now, like. Uh, Till now, I'm still, you know, going through a little pain, but it is getting, it's getting better. Yeah, so I haven't, I couldn't be able to sleep. I didn't have much sleep. I was crying out through the night. My wife really couldn't do nothing, so I just let them sleep. Uh, I go in the other room, you know, lay on the floor, because the floor was my best friend, man, because I was always pretty much on my knees on all fours, because um, due to the pain, because I know, because what happened is they went in and um, did a hemorrhoid right to me, and when it cut me, it left uh, a tear. So that tear took off, it's still healing. So what it call, it's called an anal, uh, anal fixture. So it's a small tear. Every time you use the bathroom, you poop, uh, that hole, that little tear opens up, opens up and it's, it really hurts. You can't, I was, you walk bent over, can't climb stairs, a whole lot of things I couldn't do. But I thank God for my wife, man. It wasn't for my wife. And my son was by my side as well. He was there, there in my arms just looking at me. You know, and I was like, and that's really encouraged me. My wife was always there. She's, she always there. Um, she, she showed me patience and everything. And kind of like, wow, I have like a great wife. And I, I'm very thankful for her. But yeah, so that happened in the last year of June, June of 2021. And this is, um, today is October 19th. Well, 20, technically, uh, October 20th, Wednesday, October 20th. Uh, and I'm still going through a little pain. I'm able to sit down and stuff like that and do more though. But like I done had five surgeries, you guys, five surgeries. And and this one is, you know, it, it seems like it's, you know, helping. And man, let me tell you, man, I went through creams. I went through different creams, uh, pills and a whole lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, it, it, my life, it was attacked, man. It's like a, I couldn't work. I wanted to go back on movie stage working as a background actor when I could uh, do security. I couldn't do none of that. So, like, and then I tried to get a, a work from home job that didn't work because I couldn't sit down. And, and at the same time, I, I tried to work, uh, but God told me to leave that job, man. I, I couldn't even, he came and spoke to me. Now that's why I know God is real and he's, he's very personal with me because he came and, and told me like, you need to leave this job and I got you. You know, he was like, uh, <laughs> don't worry about nothing. Cause I was really worried about how my wife would take it. Even though she kind of took it, uh, <laughs> it kind of felt like a big route, but you know, uh, I had to tough it out and, uh, the, and I haven't uh, went without uh, paying a bill yet. God has always been providing. You know, of course my wife, she took the slack when I uh, couldn't work anything, she took over everything, and I was like, wow, I can't wait to be able to do that and take over everything for her. She's a nurse practitioner, so, and I thank God, you know, for the income that we have coming in. So now, you know, I'm doing pretty good for myself with photography and videography. That's what I'm doing, what I'm doing full time, and I thank God I'm, I was able to go into that full time. That's why he told me, he said, you can't focus on that, that work from home job, because I got so much stuff to do for you over here, so there's 
with making moves and all that. Since I stepped out, man, it's like my life. It, you have ups and downs, but it's like God is always telling you, I, I told you I got you. I told you this bill is going to be paid, even though if you're, you're not working, you feel me? No, not working as much. I told you I got you. So let me tell you something, man. God tell you that personally. That's that thing you should do. Don't worry. He got, he, he's got you. I know sometimes, especially if you're dealing with something like this, uh, like I was, uh, like I have been dealing with, uh, you get so frustrated, you get uh, doubts start to kick in, worry, anxiety, but the Lord says cast all that anxiety on you because he's careful for us. Care for us. But I know this is a photography video, a photography uh, channel, but I had to share that with you guys, man. Life attack, because this is very important, man. And uh, I want you to know, I want you guys to know if you guys are doing anything that stopping you from, you know, doing photography or videography, man, uh, keep pushing, man. It will get better. Uh, God is a healer. You, you, sometimes you have to go through that, through that process, trials and tribulations. It's come to make you strong. It's come to mold you into who God wants you to do to live out the purpose he has for your life. All right, guys, like I said, please subscribe to this channel. Guys, if you haven't done so, uh, if you can't give this video a thumbs up, I would surely appreciate it, guys. All right, guys, until next time, until next time God bless. I'm out. Peace.